Humans aren't supposed to fall in love with animals. Everybody knows that. But it happens. Sometimes it's a kind of love that's totally acceptable because it doesn't have a sexual element, like when people fall in love with their dogs. But um, sometimes it's not acceptable because it does have a sexual element. And that was how it was with me and Mima. I had never had an orgasm before Mima. I couldn't. I just couldn't. It just didn't work for me. Me and Mima started to sleep together in the treehouse. And I mean, it seemed so normal, so progressive, so successful. I was there to study these animals, and this animal was letting me into her um, interiority in a way that was so exceptional and beautiful. You know, I saw how sexual they were with one another. I saw the Gigi rubbing. I saw the um, face-to-face sex. I saw the frequency of sexual contact. Initially, it was really painful, but then um, when me and Mima started sleeping in the same bed in the treehouse, it was just so, so comfortable. It worked. It was almost frightening how intuitive she was about my body. And I started to have orgasms. And me and Mima learned to talk to one another, and she was smart. She was smarter than me. She understood things that I didn't understand. We're going to try to tell some of those stories in this movie, and it might seem really fucked up. It might make people feel pushed past what's safe. Somebody I really love can't tolerate what we're doing, but there are other people who are proud of us, who know how brave this is, and that's who this movie is for. It's about love. It's about love. The kind that people say comes from above. The kind that comes from the earth comes from a primate birth. It's about love I've known it from the start That nobody could succeed in tearing us apart I didn't always know how it would go This awesome, crazy, perverse, lovely, funny, stupid love It's about our love, interspecies love It's about our crazy monkey business Don't be scared if it gets too wild It's gonna go crazy inside your heart Cause it's about love About the way I gave myself to you The way we were inside the zoo The way it felt when we came home And all those crazy people were demonstrating outside our house And still we went to bed, the two of us with our laptops and movies and we still learn to do the things that beasts in love can do and it was crazy baby i don't mean maybe we were lucky in love and we were fucked up by love and you and i and her and me and me and she and she and me It's about love. 
Hello, public. This is Mima. I am speaking to you today using my True Voice 9000 voice synthesizer that Farah gave me. The Pinkies have so many funny characteristics. The instant I think I understand them, they tell me something new. Today, Farah, that's my girlfriend, was talking about something called a pervert. It was really fascinating. A pervert, apparently, is an exceptional kind of human, who wants things that other humans don't want, or who wants ordinary things, but wants them very badly. These perverts are quite important. They are instrumental in making pinky rules and laws and statutes. The perverts need to be very creative, because there isn't anyone to tell them how to achieve their desires. In fact, these perverts are the most creative and powerful of all the pinkies. It's their responsibility to determine the whole nature of desire. I must say, I feel a lot of admiration for these perverts. Paul Gray, the bassist for the Grammy-winning metal band Slipknot, was found dead yesterday in an Iowa hotel room. Police say there was no indication of foul play. A hotel employee found the 38-year-old musician dead in a room at the town... Excellent news today from Mima. That's me. And Farah. That's my girlfriend. Apparently, we're perverts. Very exciting. Normal pinkies and bonobos don't have sexual touching together, or live together, or be in love with each other. We were planning our trip to Los Angeles for the Primates International Zoology Conference. We spend a couple of hours every day getting ready for our presentation. We are going to tell the other pinkies about us being in love together. I was already excited about the trip. But now I know that we're going to be the most important of all the animals at this entire meeting. I can hardly wait. It's true that things are harder for us perverts, though. At first, for example, I couldn't stand the way Farah smelled. I tried to hide it because I know how sensitive she is, but she could tell. She started to bathe herself constantly, but that just made it worse. She smelled too sweet like sweet garbage, and a cloud of biting flies followed her everywhere. If her smell hadn't changed so dramatically when she was turned on for sex, I don't think we would have made it. And that's a perfect example of how important the perverts are. Once there was no one to give advice to apes about how to handle the smell of pinkies, and now there's Mima. And for the pinkies, there's Farah. But we have a plan. While we do all those things, we're going to keep a record to send to the people in charge of the rules and laws and statutes. And those people will write it all in a manual and send the manual out to every pinky who is considering falling in love with a bonobo, or even a chimp or a gorilla. Though there would have to be some changes. Chimps and gorillas are a bit dangerous. I am so excited that I'm a pervert. I can't wait to get to the Los Angeles Primates International Zoology Conference so that I can start helping the rest of the pinkies become perverts too. My name is Peter. I am the groundsman at the preserve where Mima and Vera live. And I, too, am a pervert. Specifically, a peeping Tom. I crept about behind them, crouching to watch as they bathed and snogged. I used my holidays to attend their presentation at the LA conference and found the whole jaunt rather alarming. First off, there were those insane picketers gathered everywhere the girls went. They carried placards and shouted obscenities. I worried for the girls' safety, but I felt that the two of them had brought it upon themselves. They certainly didn't hide from the press. Their lecture was the best attended event at the conference. Who else was shagging an egg? It's good copy. In their presentation, they introduced their new project. A political lobby called, Perverts United. But here is the problem. 
I may be a stalker, and I am certainly a pervert, but I won't be throwing my lot in with that bunch. There are sadists among them. Loads. And roofiers and pedophiles. For the question isn't simply whether one is a pervert or not. There are benevolent perverts and vicious perverts and careless perverts. There are those who are excited by the prospect of maiming the powerless. A minority, I know, but not one I choose to hang about with. I'm just a nice fellow who happens to like following these two about in the bushes. It is not, Mima, I blame for this. Farah is responsible for almost everything Mima understands about human culture, and not because Mima is the lesser ape. You see, Farah didn't choose to learn Mima's mother tongue. Mima learned Farah's... Who is lesser, then? The perfect pupil or the flawed professor? It's Farah. It's us. We are the lesser apes. Je m'appelle Angel et tu t'appelles Angel aussi. Je m'appelle Angel et tu t'appelles Angel aussi. Oui, 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 tu t'appelles Angel aussi. Oui, oui, my name is Angel and your name is Angel too. My name is Angel. And your name is Angel Tu, tu, tu Je veux en soigner à toi Beaucoup de choses Mais où je peux apprendre le je ne sais pas Papa, I would like to Teach you lots of things But where I would learn them, I do not know. No, 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 learn them, I do not know. No, no. 